Welcome. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Monday. And it, we're nearing uh, almost the end. This is May 16th. We've got another two weeks and we'll be in June. <laughs> Anyway, my name is Joan Enskow. I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning prayer. The service is streamed live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom until the end of this month. And then we will have a special schedule, which we'll tell you about later. It's, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, except on holidays. <laughs> okay, to participate in the live service, if you want to come on live with us at 9 a.m., it's uh, going to goodshiponline.org. Select the worship a drop down list, click on prayer, scroll down, and you'll find the service leaflet for today's service. And just above that, and today, immediately above, there's an image of prayer books in the pews. You click on that, and you join via Zoom live. Otherwise, the service is available beginning at 10 a.m on all of Good Shepherd communication channels. And that's Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of Good Shepherd Online. Okay, so welcome to those who have joined. And we have Ian and Wendy and Kathy and myself. And uh, we're three are gathered, the Lord is with us. Let us be silent and we'll begin our morning prayer right to. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. <laughs> Come. Let us adore him. Hallelujah. In unison, we will say, uh, Christ our Passover. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with... <clears throat> but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so as in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Today we have Psalms 57 and 57, 56 and 57, which we'll say in unison and pause between the two. <clears throat> have mercy, <clears throat> have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all day long. Truly, there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. <clears throat> Their only thought is to do me evil. They bind, band together, they lie in wait. They spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O oh God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentations. Put my tears into your bottle. 
Are they not received in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to fright. This I know, for God is on my side. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. <clears throat> Psalm 57. <clears throat> be merciful to me, O God, be merciful. For I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the most high God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into themselves. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. <clears throat> Wake up, my spirit. Awake, lute, and harp. I myself will awaken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our first lesson is from Leviticus, chapter 16, verses 1 through 19. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron. When they drew near before the Lord and died, the Lord said to Moses, Tell your brother Aaron, not to come just at any time into the sanctuary inside the curtain before the mercy seat that is upon the ark or he will die. For I appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Thus shall Aaron come into the holy place. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me with a young bull for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. He shall put on the holy linen tunic and shall have the linen undergarments next to his body. Fasten the linen sash and wear the linen turban. These are the holy vestments. He shall bathe his body in water and then put them on. He shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel <clears throat> two male goats for a sin offering and one ram for a bird offering. Aaron shall offer the bull as a sin offering for himself and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. He shall take <clears throat> the two goats and set them before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron shall cast lots on the two goats, one lot for the Lord and the other for, for Azrael. Aaron shall present the goat on which he, the lot fell for the Lord and offer it as a sin offering. But the great, the goat on which the kit lot fell for Azra shall be presented alive before the Lord to make atonement over it so that it may be sent away into the wilderness to Azra. Aaron shall present the bull as a sin offering for himself and shall make atonement for himself, for his house. He shall slaughter the bull as a sin offering for himself. <clears throat> he shall take a censer full of coals of fire from the altar before the Lord. 
uh, let's see before the Lord, and two handfuls of crushed sweet incense. He shall bring it inside the curtain and put the incense on the fire before the Lord, so that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is upon the covenant, or he will die. He shall take some of the blood of the bull and sprinkle it with his finger on the front of the mercy seat. And before the mercy seat, he shall sprinkle the blood with his finger seven times. <clears throat> he shall slaughter the goat of the sin offering, that is for the people, and bring the blood inside the curtain, and do with its blood as he did with the blood of the bull, sprinkling it upon the mercy seat. And before the mercy seat, thus he shall make... <clears throat> He shall make atonement for the sanctuary because of the uncleanliness of the people of Israel, all their sins, and so he shall do for, for the tent of meeting, which remains with them in the midst of their uncleanliness. No one shall be in the tent of meeting from the time he enters to make atonement in the sanctuary until he comes out and has made atonement for himself and for his house, and for all the assembly of Israel. Then he shall go out to the altar that is before the Lord, and make atonement on its behalf, and shall take some of the blood of the bull, and of the blood of the goat, and put it on each of the horns of the altar. He shall sprinkle some of the blood on it in his finger seven times, and cleanse it and hallow it from the uncleanliness of the people of Israel. <laughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's a good thing, Father Doug and, and Father Derek don't have to memorize all that before they go communion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first song of Isaiah will be said in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. <clears throat> I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. <clears throat> Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Frog in the throat. <laughs> <clears> throat> Excuse me. <clears> throat> Our second lesson is from Matthew chapter six, one through four and 16 through 18. <clears throat> Jesus continued teaching them from the mountain. <clears throat> Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For you, then you have no reward from your father in heaven. <clears throat> So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room, shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their face, so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, 
they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> now sing together in unison the song of the redeemed. <clears throat> o ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy, the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A, show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we go to the colics. And the colic of the day, this being the fifth Sunday of Easter. <clears throat> Almighty God, who truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. The next colleague will commemorate Junia and Andronachus. And um, kind of a dark picture, but there they are. Uh, the one in the center is uh, Andronachus, and he's a bishop, and there is, uh, there is Junus. And um, <clears throat> uh, Saint Junia and Saint Andronachus of the seven, of the 70 were relatives of the body uh, of the Holy Apostle Paul. So they belonged to Apostle Paul. They uh, labored much preaching the gospel to pagans. St. Paul mentions them in his epistle to the Romans. And I quote, it's in chapter 16, uh, 17. 
Salute Adronachus and Junia, my kinsmen and fellow prisoners who are of a note among the apostles who also were in Christ before me. So they're mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Uh, Andronachius was made Bishop of Pannonia, but his preaching also took him and St. Junia to other lands far from the boundaries of his diocese. Through the efforts of Saints Andriacus and Junia, the Church of Christ was strengthened. Pagans were converted to the knowledge of God and many pagan temples closed and in their place, Christian churches were built. The service in honor of these saints states that they suffered martyrdom for Christ. And yes, they ended up in, uh, in the... Uh, in Constantinople, and they were killed there. So Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was reading the colic for Easter. This is the colic to commemorate Junia and Andronachius. Okay, Almighty God, whose son, the risen Christ, sent forth your apostles, Andronachius and Junia, to proclaim the gospel and extend your reign, send us forth in your Holy Spirit that women and men may minister as one in a faithful witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit in perfect unity, one God now and forever. Amen. Now a college for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life, to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely, trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now my favorite prayer, a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much we seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Liverpool Church of England, the Right Reverend Paul Behes Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion dioceses, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Lost Zane Boyd, Senior Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family, to those dear to them, remembering today especially, Ricardo, Rick, Johanna, Karen, Lou, Kay, Liz, Todd, Wally and Eveline, James, Nicholas, Joe, Lance, Kelly, Brad, and Linda, Ray, Helen, Bill, 
Linton and Gloria, Jenny and Nico. We pray also today for our worship ministries, remembering especially Berger's, that by their leadership and attention to detail, our worship services may proceed seamlessly, that all who worship a good shepherd may feel the presence of the Holy Spirit and lectures, that the word of God may be heard, read, marked, learned, and inwardly digested by those who worship with us. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth. Hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition intercession and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. And uh, let's see, uh, I guess this is from Kathy. So very thankful for friends and family who made my milestone birthday so special. Pray the Congress will do something for sensible gun control. Yes, and we want to pray for those in Buffalo, New York, my hometown, who uh, were engulfed in a very bad hate crime. And this young man who seemed to be radicalized by something terrible in hate, um, we pray for him and all those other radicalized people that are just out of their minds. And uh, we pray for the victims, the victims that were killed, the families that will mourn. And Lord, yes, that we could do something in our government to control these awful guns and, and that can be an expression of those people's hate. And Lord, please help our country, help our country to be united united in, in so many things. Okay, let's see if someone else had a, a request here. No? Okay. Uh, of course, this is our last week for our own shepherd, uh, father and dog to be shepherding us. And, uh, but we're not left alone, are we? We're not left alone. We, we will miss Father Doug and his lovely family. We'll miss the shepherding that he has for us. And, uh, but we bless him. We bless Father Doug, Shannon, and the, and the boys as they go forth into a new adventure with Christ. And we bless them and know that God is in control. And we will be blessed too as the vestry steps forward now and finds someone to, to be our shepherd along with Father Derek, who are we not so blessed to have Father Derek here with us during this transition. It's a wonderful thing. Good shepherd is very blessed. And I'm blessed to have you four, three with me today. And I know that I'm comforted in knowing that um, those students uh, who were, and the, the young man who did the, the sermon on Sunday is with our baccalaureate. How wonderful, how wonderful that, that it is. Okay, because it was, it was a beautiful tribute, not only to these young people who studied and, and uh, passed through this difficult time of being a senior and graduating and leaving their friends and, and family to go elsewhere into the world, to colleges and whatever. We pray for their safety. We pray for their safety, Lord. But what a blessing I felt sitting there knowing that they were sent for from the Church of the Good Shepherd for years that they studied and were comforted and loved by this family of our church. It was a blessing 
to everyone there to see what God can do. And we are so blessed, aren't we not? Yes. Okay. And let's see, I think, uh, I think Ian had one more thing to say about the party that's coming up. Pray that this Friday's Ari's party will be a fun event and that draws attention to Good Shepherd's outreach ministries. Yes, one more thing that, that our church does, not only to our own families and our children, but to the outreach that we do so well. And I'll uh, see you all there. <laughs> okay. And now um, we'll prepare the prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power of working in us can do definitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear hearts, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And always remember, to be very kind. We never know what's in the other person. Okay, amen. Love y'all.